Hi everyone. So in this video we will learn how you can generate a random password using JavaScript. So let's get started. We are going to use this library password generator. Simply go to this dist folder here. Click on this and go to raw. Just right click and save as. I have already done so. You can see in the JS folder I have this uh, library and here in the index.html we'll have the basic HTML structure. Link to a style sheet. Script file will be at the bottom. So it will be password generator min.js and script.js. It is inside the JS directory. Now we did one div element, one button, let's make it generate, one h1 element, display the password, save it, now go to style sheet, select div element, display will be flex, flex direction will be column, align items will be center, select the button, Padding will be 10 pixels. Save it. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. So logic is pretty straightforward. On the click of the generate button, I want to display a random password here. Let's go to script file. Let's select the button first. So it will be btn generate. Select the H1 element, let's make it result. Add event listener to the button, which is click. The, the handler function. Now let's go to the library page and see how we can use it. So this is the only method which you need to generate a password. You can pass more parameters to it. So let's try with this first one. It will give us this kind of a password which will only have letters and the length will be up to 10 characters. So let's copy this. So it will be result dot inner text and this method. Save it. Now click. So that's the password. You can also specify the length here as the first parameter. Second parameter in case if you want numbers, some special characters, you can set it to false. Let's do it here, make it 12 and set the second option or you can say the second parameter false, save it. Now click, you can see. We are getting numbers here, also some special characters. So third parameter will take some pattern in the form of regex. So if you want only digits, you can pass this regex here. Let me copy and paste it here. Save it. You can see we are only getting numbers. Also, if you want some prefix, you can pass it as fourth parameter. So let me remove this thing. Pass empty string. And here I will pass code base hyphen. So this will be the prefix. And the entire length of the password will be up to 12 characters. Save it. Click. See. Let me increase the length. Let's make it 25. Save it. See. So that's it. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.